So if you've been following Humble Growth for a while, then you may have even seen this video. It was my very first video. It was called my RV vertical garden or something along those lines. And I had turned my 20 foot 1983 Great Divide travel trailer into a fully functioning 85 plant hydro garden. I had four fog ponic gardens going. I had four tower gardens going, three DIYs and one juice plus tower garden. I had a DWC fog ponic propagation station. I made a huge cloner out of the water tank for the RV. And I was planning on putting a low pressure aeroponic system in this closet right behind me. I was becoming really inspired by what was happening out here. And the first 10 or 15 videos on this channel were actually in this very RV. And that was in late fall and early winter. Now, my family and I at the time, we were renting in the mountains in Colorado where it gets really cold. The heater I had out here was on a thermostat and it had no problem keeping it around 70 degrees until around Christmas time, we got a cold snap and it actually dropped down to minus 16 degrees for almost three days straight. Now the first day, the heater did just fine. It, it managed to keep it at about 55 to 60 degrees, which is okay, uh, but it was running constantly and it almost actually caught itself on fire. It began melting and luckily it didn't catch on fire, but what it did was click the breaker for the RV and that cut off all the incoming electricity. So all of my pumps, all my grow lights, my heater completely shut off in the middle of the night. I came out the next day to a quiet, dark graveyard. All 85 plants were dead. Every garden was completely frozen. All of the leaves were hard from the chlorophyll freezing inside of the plants. And thus began the dark ages of humble growth. A two month period where I didn't post anything. I was distraught. I slowly began moving all the gardens up into the loft of the house we were renting, but it wasn't the same. It just didn't have the same spark that was gone from me. It was like if you've ever been to a bar or a club and you stay there until closing when the lights come up and the music goes off and you just kind of look around and you're like, oh man, this does not have the same magic and the same energy that it did before. That was kind of where I was at with hydroponic gardening. So as our lease was starting to come to an end, my wife and I decided that we should turn the RV back into an RV and go on a long open-ended road trip through the Western United States. If you get the opportunity to do this, do not pass it up. The Western United States is an unbelievable part of this world and um, I'd say the best part of the country. So I spent the next two months making videos in the loft and converting the RV back into an RV. Then we hit the road back in May. Now I think enough time has passed where I'm ready to turn the RV into a garden that I can also travel in. And that was back in May. So every video that I've made since May has actually been in the RV that I started the channel in just without any gardens. The only plants that I have growing in here right now are just these um, herbs that I'm propagating in water and this one little bean plant that I started from seed um, that I'm taking through what I call the evolving cracky method. I started it off in a little uh, spice jar and then I move it to this kombucha container and once it outgrows that I'm going to move it to this juice jug and then to a bucket to let it grow and live its, the rest of its life. But it's a far cry from the 85 plant multi-garden amazing hydroponic vertical farm that I had going on in here. But you know enough time has passed now to where I think I'm ready to do it again. Only this time I'm not going to throw out the baby with the bath water. I'm still going to make this a livable RV. I just want plants to be growing out of seamlessly everywhere. The first two projects that I'm going to tackle are going to be my living pantry, which is this closet right behind me, and my living herb garden, which is going to be right above the stove. But first, let me show you guys the living pantry and where that's at right now. So let's take a look. Oh, boy, I have some work to do. Uh, it's just been storage for the past few months. I actually stored my old tower garden in here and a bunch of other nonsense that I need to clean out. The whole next video in this series is going to be about this closet turning into the living pantry. And what I'm going to do with this tower garden is clean it up, uh, seal it up if it needs to be, and then I'm going to plant strawberries in it and put it back in the corner here. Both my boys love strawberries and I think it'd be really cool for them to be able to open up this closet and pick strawberries out fresh 
Thale. Then I'm also gonna build five tiers of shelving going around the closet, and that's gonna be exclusively for Cracky Gardens. Why Cracky Gardens, you may ask? Well, this whole RV is actually powered off of solar. I have solar panels on the roof and I have a lithium iron phosphate battery bank uh, holding all the power. And to be quite honest with you, I need a lot of that power for my refrigerator. So I don't have a lot of extra energy to throw around. And I think one tower garden with one pump is probably going to be all I really have the electricity for. I also mounted this strip light down the side and this full spectrum light up top. Uh, but those also use quite a bit of electricity. So in the next video, I'm going to be looking into cutting a hole and installing a window in this garden to get some natural light in there. This is going to be the beginning of a 10 part series. I'm going to spend the next 10 weeks posting one video a week about this transition on this series. I also want to post at least one video a week. That's just going to be educational, sort of like I have been doing. So if there's anything that you guys want to learn about or want me to make videos about, I already have somebody who's interested in hydroponic mushrooms. Yeah hydroponic mushrooms. So I'm going to give that a shot and make a video about that for you guys. But if you have anything else that you want to know about, please comment down below. Don't be shy. Let me know what you think about this project. And I really look forward to making the next video. So make sure you're subscribed because it's about to get really exciting. This video is really just more an introduction to the series to get you guys excited about what I'm going to be doing. And maybe for those of you who did see the first video and have been wondering what happened, that's what happened. That's where we are. And this is where we're going. So, Let's grow together.